Okay, you all, I'm back yet with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to do a YouTube video makeup on a, a poppy eye with a nude lip. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply my face with Max Fix Plus. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I was going to spray that out, right? <laughs> this is the product. Pat that in. Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Primer. One pump. Rub it in. Next, I'm about to go to my eyes. I'm going to get my eyeshadow. But well, first things first, I'm going to put on my anti crease shadow primer. This is my Too Faced. I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand. And apply it on with my hand. This is what it looks like. Just pat it on. And it's showing that it covers her entire eyelid. Don't go all the way by the eyebrow now, okay? Let's just get on, but thank you. And just put it in. And forget it, you see how I got down here? Just excuse that. But just keep paying. Keep paying. Next, I'm gonna go back to the sponge, like a little wedge. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. And also pat my eyelids here. Just to make sure I get an even and smooth surface to work with. And the eyeshadow palette that I've chose to work with today will be the Toilet Tease Palette. It's a little bit of palette like this. And I've chosen to use this color right here in my crease. The name of this color is Heartbreaker. Mm, I like that, y'all. Use that color in my crease and I'm going to apply that now with a Morphe blending brush. The brush this is M139. Get a little dab of it. And apply it in my crease. And blend out with circles. Do the other eye. And we're just doing a pop. Pop is coming out too much. I'm going to get a little flat brush like this and apply this burgundy color. It's called BFF on the toilet color right here. Apply that to my lid. Be sure you blend out all these colors. Next, I'm gonna use my double sided brush from Smash Box and blend out. Using my other Morphe brush, this is M200, and I'm going to blend out some more. Okay. 
keep leaning, keep leaning, keep leaning. Next, I'm going to use my Sephora Blue Eyeshadow. The name of this is Sailor Kiss. It's like a pretty raw blue. I'm going to put that in my outer crease. I'm just going to blend it in slowly. Like gradually fade it out. Be sure to blend that blue out. You don't want it to be too harsh. Next, I'm going to use a little gold liquid crystal liner from NYX. You can buy this at Ulta. I'm going to apply a little of that on my top waterline. And just to give me a little pop, give me a little accent of color. Kind of in my ear. Tear it up. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next on this eye, I'm going to do a waterline. The waterline I'm using, which would be Elf. I'm going to get that and drag it out before I go to the next eye. Do that on my top. Next, I'm going to finish out. See the gold on y'all? 
look cute. Next time I'm going to finish out with a little bit more gold liner. Put this a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. To make it pop just a little bit more. Again, I'm using the same F line I did on this eye. Use it on that eye. And do finish it off with a natural wing. Apply a little mascara before I put on my falsies. And the mascara that I'm using is Benefit Roller Lash. I don't normally apply mascara to my bottom lash until I'm finished putting on all my makeup. Because, in my opinion, it intends to rub off on the rest of my makeup um, I don't gotta make up the waist y'all so I'm gonna some little focus I'm about to apply I just get the lash and I run it through my glue kind of set it aside so it can dry I'll do the other one like that and if you all didn't know, false eyelashes are reusable. Once took, they took really good care of you, you can reuse them. Just peel out the glue. Make sure it's sanitary. When you take them out, make sure when they clean, stir it okay, stir it out okay. And then you're good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to apply them. I'm just going back in and pushing my natural lash to the faucet. I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more gold. Make that gold pop just a little bit more. Okay. 
Ne? Nein, das habt ihr nicht. Ich mache ein Fässchen. Leber. Next, I'm going to carry on with my foundation routine. And the choice of foundation that I chose to do today is going to be the Romeo and Fabulous Gold Max. I'm just wiping off the excess glue for my lashes, you guys. Yeah, this drips of foundation is wrong. I use everything from drugstore to high end. It all depends on you and your skin type. And I'm using L'Oreal Pro Matte. And the shade is Soft Sable. You can also buy this at Ulta. It's been a little back on the back of my hand. I'm going to whip my beauty blender down with my Fix Plus. Let's whip it down. And as you can see, if I was already make up for another video I did earlier today. I'm just gonna saturate it with Fix Plus. I'm get it in my hand and apply the makeup. I'm just dab it on. I know I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm ready to bring it down to your neck. If you notice, I only did one squeeze. One squeeze would be enough. Just check it with shape like it's over there. Next, I'm going to apply some concealer to highlight. And the concealer choice that I chose will be MAC NC45 Pro Longwear. And the bottle looks like this. I'm just going to squeeze out one pump. That's really all I need. Because I don't like my highlight to be too dramatic. Unless I'm going somewhere special like out with my girls. A little brush and the brush I'm using is this OP OPV brush. You can buy these online also. I'm just getting a little. I'm gonna form these under my eyes. I'm sure not to go too full because when I blend it out, it'll go. It will make work its way up and it will go under my eye. And this I don't want to put it anywhere where I already have fine lines with so the concealer can sit. 
And when choosing a concealer to highlight, you want to make sure it's just a, either one or two shades lighter. I don't like my concealer to be too light, y'all. I'm going to be looking too ghostly. Okay. Keep flowing on them. Come down the bridge of my nose. Now, I don't come through my nose because I don't have a big nose. But for those of you all that have a big nose, you want to make sure look, your nose look a little smaller. Go for it. I'm going to get my beauty bit on the side really damp. And I'm going to tap Sometimes you feel like you need to go back with your finger and use my ring finger. I just go back and pack underneath my eye. Make sure my concealer haven't reached the spots that I feel that it should have went. Because sometimes I just feel like my beauty window can't reach all of the lines and crevices where I want the concealer to be. Sit it. And my forehead, I just pat out. Next, everywhere where I put the concealer, I'm going to go back and set it with my setting powder. And the setting powder choice that I've chose to use for today, this video, quite frankly, will be Laura Mercier setting powder. Translucent setting powder. You can buy this at Sephora.com. I think it's like $42 or $38. But you get a good little amount of this. I'm just going to use a sponge, tap it in, and put it where everywhere I place the concealer to set it. This is going to help stop the line and stop my concealer from creasing. I'm going to keep my highlights set in the places where I place that concealer. And this is called baking, you guys. You don't want your highlight to be too noticeable or too prominent. Don't bake for a long time. Bake for a few minutes. Next, on where I'm letting that powder bake, I'm going to use my Maple Forever Duo Sculpting Duo. It has a highlight and contour. I'm going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush to contour my face. And I'm doing like a natural contour, I'm not doing a whole lot. Let's do the fish lips. And I'm buffing it in. Forehead. Keep in mind, I'm doing something natural. So my makeup application is going to look natural. I'm going to be big, but it's going to be natural. And I'm doing something so, so, so dramatic. Not today. Just going to keep going around. With me, little assistants, do the fish lips. Which is what I'm doing now. I'm going to actually show you where to apply the contour. Next, I'm going to do a simple highlight. Some highlight I'm going to use will be the River. Revolution Vivid Baked Bronze Face Cellist and Ultra. This is on sale for $6. I thought it was bomb to try out. And it looks like this. Something similar to one of the MAC. It looks similar to one of the MAC highlights to me. I'm just going to apply a little. Then I think I'm just going to buff that in. And outer eye. Bridge on my nose. Out here. Now I can buff off that powder. I think I've been baking enough. I'm buffing it off. I'm 
Mm. Get that glow, honey. Check me out. You see that, y'all? Mm -hmm. Boogie Man ain't got nothing on me, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, well, for now, I'm gonna go back and apply just a little bit now. Don't use anymore. Whatever left on your brush, use that. I'm just applying whatever left on my brush, on my face. Because I don't want to be too highlighted. And next, I'm going to do my color of lips. The color lip I chose to do is the Bite Sway BB Lips. I'm just gonna apply that. It's like a a natural soft tinted lips color. I'm just gonna apply that on the lips. See? A natural little tint. Okay, that's the look I'm going for. When you have when you're doing bold lips, you wanna keep your lipstick natural and tasteful. And I'm going to apply buxom. Lip plumping lip gloss on top. This is Dolly. You buy that also from Sephora. Just want to get a little, a little bit of this and apply it on top. Give my lips a soft, natural sheen. Last but not least, you all. One more time with Max Fix Plus. This it a few minutes. Then I'm going in with. Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is bomb, ladies. Set my makeup, close your eyes, and go. Woo! <laughs> and this is the finished look, ladies. Mm, that's it. Bye bye, toodles. Love you all.